In today's video, we get to see double of a calf and lizards that are into fitness. Sort of. Sword Build Hummingbird One look at this tiny bird and you can really say that it's hard to ignore. This absurd hummingbird possesses the world's longest bill in relation to its body size. Because the sword billed hummingbird's beak is only around 4 inches long, it must scratch and preen itself with its feet. In addition to the eye-catching bill, check out its muted green body with a bronzy head. The sword billed hummingbird is found in the tropical cloud forests of South America's Andean region, most typically at heights of 2400 to 3100 meters. This habitat is favored due to the abundance of nectar-producing flowers. Sword billed hummingbirds frequently return to the same flowers in predictable patterns. They're primarily drawn to brilliant, tubular-shaped blooms because they contain the most sugar. During their breeding season, hummingbirds collect tiny insects to feed their young. A female sword billed hummingbird that is nesting can gather up to 2,000 insects every day. Sword billed hummingbirds, both male and female, have several mates to maximize reproductive success. The male will not help build the nest or raise the chicks after mating. Females often deposit two eggs in camouflage nests constructed of plants and moss. Chicks are blind and immobile when they're born, relying on their mother for nourishment and safety. The chicks are ready to leave the nest after only about 7 to 10 days. Warty Giraffe And South Africa's Kruger National Park, a giraffe that appeared to be transforming into a tree was sighted. The animal's neck was covered in weird, bark-like lumps. In reality, these are papillomavirus lesions. The virus, which is not that fatal, primarily affects cattle, causing enormous irritated lesions to grow on their bodies. It's carried from animal to animal in giraffes by oxpecker birds that feed on ticks in their skin. Although the virus does not kill them, the sores can be irritating, and if scratched repeatedly, can lead to wounds and infections. The papillomavirus is found in a variety of species, including humans, chimps, and rabbits, and each strain is tailored to the animal it infects. The giraffe is the world's tallest land mammal, reaching about 20 feet in height. These monsters are found across Africa, and after considerable conservation efforts to recover the population that had been decimated by hunting and disease, South Africa now boasts an estimated population of slightly over 30,000 giraffes. Catnapper Baboon sighting in South Africa's Kruger National Park are typically interesting, but tourists watching one particular baboon troop were surprised to see that one of the baboons was carrying a young lion cub, no more than four weeks old. The male baboon carried the baby cub about, climbing onto a neighboring tree and combing and caressing the cubs as he would a juvenile member of his troop. The arrival of the cub at first caused the baboons to become very enthusiastic, according to witnesses. They fought for a long time before the young male emerged victorious and was able to play with his prize. Baboons are recognized to pose a hazard to the young of most predators, including lions and leopards. Nonetheless, observing or photographing these instances is highly exceptional. However, the chances for this lion cub are slim. Most of the time, nature is merciless, and a young predator's cub survival is difficult. When the lion cub grows up, it's gonna be a threat to the baboons. And this isn't like the Lion King. The lion cub learns how to eat bugs. Snub-nosed monkeys. The golden snub-nosed monkeys are an old-world monkey species. These animals' tails are wrapped with dense fur and serve as a cushion to sit on. Their tails, however, are worthless for hanging from trees or gripping objects. Furthermore, they have human-like nostrils that are near to one another. The origin of their unusual nose and facial features is currently unknown. The golden snub-nosed monkey is found in southwestern China's mountain regions. These primarily arboreal primates live at heights ranging from 5,200 to 13,000 feet in deciduous broadleaf and conifer forests of the Tibetan Plateau. In the winter, the monkeys migrate to lower-altitude woods. Snow can blanket the alpine woods where these monkeys live for up to six months, and the species is one of the few primates living in temperate zones. Golden snub-nosed monkeys are critically endangered, owing mostly to habitat loss and fragmentation. This tree-dwelling species is being harmed by deforestation and is at risk of losing its forest home, as well as food sources due to agricultural expansion. Duck Eats Frog Fairy tales about the frog prince and the ugly duckling can be found in the same book. But did you know that they're actually mortal enemies? Both land and water critters aren't as good of friends as we may imagine. Rather, the truth is quite the reverse. Do ducks actually eat frogs? Shockingly, when there's a lack of feed, ducks will eat frogs and tadpoles. Because ducks are omnivorous, many species of duck consume tiny frogs. Frogs and toads are known to be lower on the food chain than ducks and geese. Mauer ducks in particular are recognized for their frog hunting talents. Ducks, as we all know, are incredibly adaptable and benign in their survival. They're not fussy eaters. 
Mower ducks, both male and female, have a voracious taste for frogs and toads. These birds seek meaty items to prolong their lives during the nesting season, and again, they're not picky. Female mowards chase the amphibians, whereas males prefer to steal them from the females, according to research. Even the black duck's diet is dominated by toads rather than plants, which is quite a weird and shocking revelation. Two-headed calf. A two-headed calf was born alive on a farm in the U.S. Farmers dubbed the animal Annabelle after it was spotted in Baker County, Florida in 2015. With four eyes, two noses, two mouths, and two ears, her two heads face in opposite directions and feed individually. Carolyn Cruz discovered the calf in her field and stated that she must feed it four times every day. She worried how long Annabelle's going to live, claiming that her breathing is labored and is unable to stand due to the weight of the heads. The farm's owner, Dwight Cruz, said he had never seen a two-headed calf in his more than 60 years of cow raising. The chances of this happening are thought to be 1 in 400 million, and such animals rarely survive more than a few days. In another video in 2022, a young calf has actually become India's top tourist attraction. This animal is unique in that it has two heads, four eyes, and two mouths. Their skulls also seem to be merged. The calf was born in India's northeastern Gamadi district recently. Many people have been queuing up to see the baby critter laying in a shed with its mother. Deer eats a... Um, bird? Uh, deers aren't that graceful, slender vegans we once believed them to be, apparently. Using field cameras, scientists have captured a deer preying on nesting songbirds. It's not only deer, either. Herbivores all around the world may be boosting their meals as well. When researchers in North Dakota installed nest cameras over songbird nests, they expected to see a large number of nestlings and eggs stolen by ground squirrels, foxes, and badgers. Squirrels found 13 nests, but other meat eaters fared poorly. Weasels and foxes each grabbed only one nest. What ferocious beast outdid any of these two sleek, clever predators, though? The white-tailed deer. These supposedly herbivorous creatures calmly consumed living nestlings straight from the nest. And if you're thinking that the deer were just munching their way through some foliage and happened to snag a mouthful of bird, think again. A group of ornithologists in Canada were observing adult birds. The researchers employed mist nests to examine them closely. These nets, which are normally hung between trees, are designed to gently trap birds or bats so they may be retrieved, analyzed, and released. When a herd of deer passed by, they approached the struggling birds and ate them, alive, right out of the nets. It seems like they're developing a taste for meat, which is horrifying in its own right. Now it's time for the day's best pick. We're going to be taking a look at a fish that somehow manages to survive on land. The snakehead fish. You want proof that nature's changing, check it out for yourself. These snakehead fish must contend with voracious tortoises. The ability to breathe outside of the water ordinarily provides these fish a significant advantage over their competitors. However, not when a soft-shelled tortoise is seeking for its next meal. The snakehead is one of 29 species of long, tubular brown and black speckled fish with flattened snake-like heads native to China, Russia, and Korea. Northern snakeheads are probably quite frightening, but the difficulty lies outside of their native range. They can't be stopped, and they're aggressive predators that can survive in low water quality circumstances and even for several days without water. They can take oxygen from air or water via their gills if they stay moist. Because they can thrive in bad conditions, they're most likely to spread and endure than other fish species. Not only are they long-lived, but they also have a wide temperature tolerance that can breed twice a year. In rare cases, they can double their population in as little as 15 months. Fitness Lizards Lizards have cold blood and unusual skin in the animal kingdom. They have various peculiar habits, such as performing push-ups on rocks, trees, or walls. Yeah, you read that correctly. Now you might want to be wondering why lizards do push-ups. Well, lizards work out for the same reason that people at the gym do. Show off their strength. And much like them, push-ups can also signal, get out of my area, according to a new study. And some lizards make a morning and evening routine out of demonstrations. Lizards perform push-ups as a mating display to show females that the males are healthy and ready to mate. However, both male and female lizards do these in order to claim their territory, calm down, and remove dead and shedding skin. Push-ups are an essential component of a lizard's mating ritual. Lizards do a similar motion to humans with a few minor changes. A lizard can be seen on a variety of surfaces, usually higher up, vigorously thrusting its entire body up and down with all four legs. These push-ups are frequently followed with head bobbing and flapping of the colorful skin on their necks in some species. Long Waddled Umbrella Bird Birds in Ecuador's rainforest lodges love to find a mate. 
Males employ Lex to produce their spectacular courtship display in which they show off their magnificent crest feathers, covering their heads up to the beak, as if coiffed by the most flamboyant of hairdressers. They also resemble umbrellas, hence their common name. See you all next time!